Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. This is a uh, another video about the Sawgrass. This is the SG800. They got a different model now, but it's the SG800. Same thing goes with the 400, the 1000, whatever the fuck you get. But I'm just frustrated. It's working, but I'm still a little frustrated. Um, but today I'm making masks. I already printed out two. <clears throat> Are they putting out two uh, making custom masks? Let me see if I can show y'all one that I already made. It came out pretty good. It's a little Gucci Mane mask. Look like you got, you know what I'm saying, Gucci Mane grill on. Pretty swanky. Pretty swanky. And uh, let me know, write in the comments if y'all need some custom masks, because I'm, I'm, I'm selling custom masks. I'm going to put my website link in the bio. So y'all just click on it. But yeah, once again, um, so <clears throat> so let me, let me, I'm going to start from the beginning again. So every time that you print from this machine, you click on print manager, okay? Um, if your size, like my artwork I, in Photoshop, I already sized my work up. I know what size I'm printing. Um, 13 by 19, so I sized the document 12.8 by 18.7 because if you don't, then it's going to give you some kind of stupid error message. It's going to just drive you crazy. So <clears throat> I'm going to um, click on this file. These are the travel mass files. Okay. So it, it leads me to this. For the best print quality, click on polyester fabric. It makes your colors pop off a little more. A lot better. Uh, text print R from the bypass tray, because I got 13 by 19, um, high quality. But these two settings, text print on, polyester fabric, makes it print way better, makes the blacks black, um, makes everything much better. Because, like, I did a couple, I did a couple of previous masks, this black was coming out green. I mean, I was pissed, but luck, I only wasted like, you know what I'm saying, like two, too mad though. Still pissed though. All right, so I already, <clears throat> I already. Uh, so right now I'm just waiting. As, as you see, as you can tell, it takes a long time to um, send to the printer. So we're just going to count it down. We count, we count it down. Y'all send me click print. All right, there it goes. Popping up. There you go. But other than that, it's good. It's good. Once it comes out, it's perfect. Oh, I ain't got no paper in there. Uh oh. Hold on. There we go. Just in time. <laughs> Just in time. All right. So I'm gonna wait till this print out because there's another step that you have to take if you have the bypass tray, or if you know if you're feeding it from the regular tray. A lot of times this error message pops up. Like, make sure you pay attention because it's. Sorry about that, y'all. It's so frustrating. Like, Sawgrass, they really need to, like, give us some kind of credit or something. <coughs> because this doesn't make sense. You pay so much money for a printer, and it it doesn't print. Like, you know, high quality. It doesn't print. It feels like a a janky printer. Like, at any given moment, it feels like it, it might just break down on me. But, um... <coughs> But I'm gonna speak positivity on this thing. Hold on, three, six, nine. Oh man, I got some of them. Mm. Ooh, sneezing. All right, so that's done. So I'm gonna see. You see how clean that come out? That comes out crispy. All right, cool. So I'm gonna lay that over there. Let that dry. All right, you see this? This is the error message that it always comes up with. If you don't clear this error message out, it's not going to print. So I'm gonna show you an example, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you an example. Because when I realized this, as you see, I still got my tape on there. Because you cannot feed more than one piece of paper in this bypass tray. If you do, it's going to jam. Guarantee. Guarantee you that. So I got my tape just so it, it indicates that I have paper. Because sometimes when you have one sheet of paper in there, it doesn't realize it. Alright? So bam okay all right so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it again open local file 
you gotta treat this thing real slow. All right, travel mask, open, there we go. Same settings, you know what I'm saying? The same settings, print, okay? I click print. So now we're just gonna wait. However long it takes, however, this is the real deal review. However long it takes, we need that uh, Jeopardy theme music. Okay, you see? It comes with that message, but check this out. Jordan, will you do the honors? Yes, I will. Job reset. Reset job. It goes away. That that makes absolutely no sense for a printer that costs over one thousand dollars. That makes no sense. No sense. It doesn't make sense, bro. It makes no sense. But it works. So I'm just gonna keep praying that this printer works until I get enough so I can buy another printer. Preferably the Epson brand because Sawgrass customer service is not good at all. Uh, I was thinking about getting an Epson F570 until this, you know what I'm saying, clunks out. Um, but I mean, it's it's been working. But how long it's gonna work is another question. I don't have too much faith in the Sawgrass printers. Um, what I say, is this a good entry level printer? Yeah, the SG400, as long as you're printing out like small stuff. Um, I've seen some groups on Facebook, uh, people have converted the Epson uh, 770 or something. If it works for you, it works for you. I would say start off small with like an Epson 770. Um, just to, if you if you're used to that kind of stuff, I mean it, this is okay. The price, uh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. But if you have a little more money, go right ahead and get that Epson F. What was it five seven fifty or something? The ink is cheaper. Um, it's just less of a headache. You can just print straight from Photoshop like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about no print manager, no third party. You know stuff interfering with your which art you can just print 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 that's it's a print like this is something they're trying to make this into like a design suite you know what i'm saying design suite like a photo is stupid so yeah hit that like button if this review was informative i'm gonna keep cranking them out the inks are still working thank god somebody said they gotta you know what i'm saying you gotta put chips in it you ain't gotta do all that just 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 go to xc it's on amazon um xc Inkjet ink, just type in ink and the brand it has like a little eagle on the front. Just buy that. You ain't gotta do chip reset and you ain't gotta do all that. Just pop it in, it works. If it voids your warranty, so be it. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna help you anyway. But um, you know what I'm saying, like get this, it's only like what sixty dollars for a replacement of four. Or you can buy retail, it's totally up to you. It sucks. The retail ink suck, but it's up to you. If you want to keep your warranty. But hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.